Yeah, see this guy, he's always bumming money and cigarettes off of me. And um, sometimes I, I guess sometimes I've given him cigarettes and stuff. But he's kind of aggressive. See, he's bothering these other people who are trying to get their cash. See, he's asking them if they have a cigarette. And he asks a lot of impertinent questions and stuff. And it's kind of, I don't know, you know. I, the other beggars in this neighborhood, I really find them much less intrusive. This guy's not so bad. He's just annoying, you know. It's a quality of life issue. We have shanty towns here in Saint Denis. We have um, a lot of homeless people. Over by the RERD station, there's an active crack trade. Really, really discouraging. Now see, over here, these projects, these big housing projects, they're about 50 years old now. So they're all being destroyed. Everybody's being relocated. They're huge. There are thousands of people who live in this huge housing project. They're called Cité here in France. And these are also called HLM. Um, that's for middle, or oops, let's, let me cross, it's rather dangerous here. Middle, um, it's for, you know, people who are of very modest means. But they're, they can be fantastic. You'll find people who are quite wealthy who really want to get into one of these HLM. Now these are going to be dynamited and um, I'm sure that won't be very pleasant for me because I live across the street from them. But um, they've got to be rebuilt and they're being upgraded. Now see this cité here, this is from the 1930s. It's a huge, huge cité. It goes way back in there. And I understand there's a shelter for women in there, too. This is a very dangerous uh, intersection. There goes some advertising trucks. Yes, they're going to rebuild those um, housing projects. I think they're going to start dynamiting them next year. Controlled demolition. Uh, like 9-11, perhaps, in New York. Uh-huh. And uh, a whole new project will go up here. I personally chased uh, the drug buyers out of this neighborhood about three years ago. I got fed up. I couldn't get the drug sellers out of here. There's a sign that says Centre Ville. Oops, the sun is in my eyes. Ah, the light is green. Um, they call it a, a green fire here. Not a green light. Feu vert. And, um, you know, you, I can't get the drug dealers out of here. But I could discourage the drug buyers. So I single-handedly spent about half an hour chasing them out, pointing them out to the police. They really didn't know what to do with me. They said that they would kill me. I said, I don't fear death. I'm not, a f I'm not very fond of torture, but I don't fear death. And uh, they just didn't know what to think. And I said to them, I'm Lisa. I'm a New Yorker. Uh, this is my neighborhood. I don't want you here, and you won't buy here anymore. Eventually, they did throw me to the ground. Here are some real estate prices here. And I had some cracked ribs, and um, I had to be on medical leave for eight days. But uh, those drug buyers never came back. This is where I buy tobacco. This is where I buy my cigarettes. Let's see if I can get in here. Bonjour! Yeah! And this is the neighborhood bar. And these people are really nice. C'est ici que j'achète mes cigarettes. Oui. Now, see, these cards that they have for sale, um, they're very expensive. They're very, very expensive. Uh, let's see, even to send like a little postcard in an envelope is 65 euro cents. But see, these things for the baby or for marriage and stuff, they're nice. They're like these old-fashioned cards, sympathy cards, things like that, that I used to um, get in the United States back in the 1960s. Um, they have fancy edges and glitter. And even though a lot of these are more than three euros, which is more than six, seven, eight U.S. dollars, um, they're for special occasions.
But as I said, oh, here's some funny ones. I find these rather tasteless, but if you don't like somebody too much, this is one way of letting them know. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was saying. Uh -huh. All right, now. Yeah, here are some postcards. Postcards are kind of expensive here. It's not something that they do every day. They consider it rather frivolous. It's hard to buy tobacco in France. It's very controlled. Um, you can buy vodka in the supermarket. That's no problem. But tobacco are so, is sold by what are called buralistes. And they also, in this place, have a concession for lottery. Here's the lottery thing. And people are betting and drinking and they're looking at Rapido. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my friend. Yeah. I know this guy very well. Yeah, yeah. Ah, he, he wants me to film him. Okay. And here you can play lottery games. And here's the cigarette. Okay. Okay, au revoir.